So the first part of my commute is this long uh, four lane divided road. I'm on this road for about three and a half miles, but there is a bike lane, so that's something. Then I get onto this smaller side road with this nice wide bike and running lane. Of course, there's a big pile of trash in the way, but that's not always there. I do get to see this long line of traffic that I'm avoiding by being on my bike though. I'm on this road for one and a half miles. Then there's this short little side road that I have just for a third of a mile. It has this nice bike lane. Um, it's not too busy of a road. Traffic isn't going too crazy fast. Not a bad road, but only about a third of a mile. That side road comes to an end right up here as I get into the turn lane. I'm about to turn onto a road that goes around our biggest lake in the city of Lakeland. Uh, this road is really popular with runners and cyclists because there is a big running and bike lane over off to the side. You can kind of see it right over there. And there's a college off in the distance. But I'm on the road because now the bike lane starts again. Then I eventually approach this roundabout. The bicycle lane sort of disappears, so I have to look behind me, make sure no traffic is coming, and then merge into the lane. And then the roundabout takes me on to the next road. I'm on this road for about a mile. Um, there is no bike lane or anything, no real shoulder, so sometimes traffic kind of gets a little stuck behind me or finds a chance to pass me like that. Then I come up to this intersection before I cross over this major highway. Once on the other side of the highway, I have another mile on what is now a four lane divided road, but no bicycle lane. Then I have another mile on this divided road, uh, but there is a bicycle lane here. I'm not really sure the rhyme or reason for where some roads have bicycle lanes and some roads don't. That road eventually moves into a neighborhood and becomes a little quieter, a little more narrow, but the bike lane is gone now. And then I come up to this next intersection, getting back onto one of the bigger roads in Lakeland. But there is no bicycle lane. And I'm on this road for about another mile. As I come up to this big intersection, I have to move over into the center lane because the right lane becomes a turn lane only and I need to go straight. So I have to look back, make sure no cars are coming and then get into traffic. And not long after that, I turn into my neighborhood and I'm almost home. The whole commute is a little more than nine and a half miles and takes about 50 minutes.